church. Good afternoon, it is Rob again with Extreme Performers as Extreme with three X's. And it is a beautiful day outside once again. Loving this Georgia weather, man. Loving it. But yeah, so I'm bringing you a video where I'm going to be painting the rooms to the eclipse to a different color because honestly, the paint that I have on there right now, or the factory paint, whatever it was, is starting to fade and not looking too good. So let's get to it. And I got a nice fresh cut. What? Boy, looking sharp. So yeah, let's get to the video. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to break these lug nuts loose. Got one, two, three, four, five. Break them loose a little bit. Then I'm going to raise the car up and then take it off the rest of the way. Got my key right here. So I can do this. Alright, so, got this reel off, and as you can see, like I was saying, it's not looking too good, but we're about to fix that. Alright, now that the reel is off, we're going to clean it, and then tape off everything that we do not want painted. This is going to be the chrome lip, and these little bolt things. So what up, it is now day two of painting these wheels. We unfortunately ran into a bind yesterday. I accidentally broke the key, so I couldn't take the other wheels off. But nevertheless, we're still gonna do this. I'm just going to paint them with them on. Yeah, see how this goes. So, wheels are all done. I gotta say, I love the way they look gold. <laughs> Here, bang, bang. I think that gold gives a nice touch to it. <clears throat> and now I'm gonna be installing my new booster trailer. It is a Harman Pro series. I love this kind, it's actually easier because the one I have right now, I need to use an Allen key. This one is just a simple little twist. Much better than what I'm using right now. So, let's get that installed now. Okay, so once again we're going under the hood. And as you can see, my old boost controller is right there. <sighs> yeah, I got me with that guy. Probably gonna put this in a more convenient spot where I can actually have it more easily accessible to me too. So, let's get the unpulling of stuff. Okay, and here we can actually see the difference. You have my old Turbo XS boost controller, manual boost controller. And like I said, used to need a little 
So you kind of get the focus in there. Well, yeah. The small Allen key that's in there compared to the Holland Pro Series Bruce Control, which is a lot bigger and does not require an Allen key. So, let's get to installing this piece. Alright, to make things a little easier and get to the turbo, well, the piece on the wastegate anyway, had to remove the intake pipe. So I can connect that right there. Then I'm going to connect the other half right there. So, hold on. Okay, now that that's the tied down there, I am now going to mount it probably either right here or right here. Well, probably right here. Let's see. Do thing. Right there. Or yeah, right there. So, so that's going to conclude today's video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe. If you want to see anything else done to the car, let me know. Put it in the comments below. Push the little bell button so you can get notifications when I put up new videos. And this Sunday is Cars and Coffee or Caffeine and Octane, and I will be there. So, see y'all there. Peace out.